everyone to the Facebook group, the International Brotherhood of Polyvans. I am your host, James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions, and I am the founder of this group. Uh, in 2012, among many other web pages, um, when they say founder, uh, it's like creator. Not, not that it was lost and I, I stumbled upon it and founded it. Founded it? I don't think that's a word. Found it? No. But anyway, I am here with the one and only, my illustrious co-host, the Commodore himself, Jeff Zambello. How are you this evening, sir? I'm doing very well, uh, Mr. Founder. Do you sign um, uh, diplomas uh, <laughs> as six hundred dollar uh, pieces of paper? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Did did diddly diddly do? I I am all I I am all with you. I am totally with <laughs> you. Towel establishment, so I make my father-in-law so happy. Ah, uh, so hot ticky towel business in back of uh, Kettlebell Club in uh, Long Schlong, Schlong Beach, California. Kettlebell Club, uh, Schlong Beach. Yes. Uh, I, um. Well, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Tally ho, Jeff Zambello. Let me uh, um, say that uh, another week has rolled by, and uh, time certainly flies when you're educating, enlightening, and informing uh, all those uh, numbskull, uh, 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 nincompoops, uh, imbeciles out there in, in social media, and God knows there are plenty of them. But uh, seven lucky bells for this week's show. <laughs> International Brotherhood of Polvards and the Trumpet of Truth. All right. And well, I was very sad today. What happened? Um, for two reasons. Um, uh, greedy corporations are making a lot of money with corruption and dishonesty. And today you presented a video that was rather disturbing. It was very disturbing. It looked innocent, but when you read between the lines or look between the lines, some poor customer. Well, what are you? I, I can't even talk right now. I'm, I'm, I'm very sad by all the dishonesty because all these factories, you know, the feed is basically dog, processed dog food. Animal byproducts. The, the 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 people. These people are grandparents. Their mothers and fathers. Uh, uh, you know, the children, innocent children. And these corporations, James. I tell you, James. I'm gonna throw this phone to the, my television in about two seconds here. I'm so sad. So can you please explain why ambulances were in front? We won't mention the company, but they're in front of a franchise uh, hamburger establishment. Fast food. Yes. Um... Uh, now, now, for those that are not familiar with what we're talking about, uh, go on YouTube and look up the, the Jamie Oliver video on pink slime. Uh, what pink slime is, and, and they caught, they caught, and they caught McDonald's using it for their hamburgers. What it is is uh, meat byproducts, like Jeff Zambello said. Uh, it could be anything. It could be. It could be. Uh, uh, a rat that lost its balance and fell into the hopper or whatever, into the grinder. It could be roadkill. It could be any damn thing. It could be un, un USDA inspected meat, you know, where uh, they'll, they'll find a tumor in, in, a, in a cow and they'll, they'll, they'll grind yeah. up the, the freaking tumor along with the meat. It could be anything. Byproduct. Let's just call it byproducts. They'll take it, they'll puree it. Now, once you puree something, uh, unless you bring it to a lab, you don't, you, you can't identify it. Then they'll put ammonia to disinfect the, the, the toxic uh, crap, to disinfect it. And now you're consuming not only the byproducts of the meat, but the ammonia as well. 
And guess what? It's all done in the name of profit and greed. Uh, uh, profit and greed before um, the planet and people. It, it, that's not their priority. The planet and people and people's lives and health are not their priority. Their priority is profit and greed, and they lie in advertisement, just like the rest of retail and uh, franchise corporate food chains. And uh, if you want to get an education, please watch as a foundation, Jamie Oliver from one of the Food Networks, his video on YouTube on Pink Slime, and you will understand exactly what we're talking about and what Jeff's referring to is um, uh, the video Tally Ho, Jeff Zambello, part three, which is on my uh, Facebook profile, profile uh, James P. Madonna. Uh, under Mega Life 21. Now, I want to tell a story. The the um, the title the title of the show is the sense the censorship of truth seekers and tellers exposing the lying scum, pandering neoliberals and phony feminists. Well, let me start off by pandering neoliberals and phony feminists. I recently had a big de debate, actually an argument, with um, a, a feminist neoliberal um, politician in New Jersey that ran for, the, for governor of New Jersey in 2018. Of course, uh, Phil Murphy uh, won. Now, she ran as a Democrat. Now, where did Phil Murphy work before? Wall Street. He was a Wall Street boy. And what particular uh, Hillary Clinton uh, connected Wall Street firm? Goldman Sachs. That's right. Anyway, I digress. Yeah. Oh, he, but he but he ran. The funny thing is, like John Corzine, former governor of New Jersey, who was also a Goldman Sachs boy uh, and a billionaire. How does a multi-billionaire from Wall Street run as a Democrat that claims to feel your pain? With because the, they're in corruption with people with very, very, very large corporations that make slime. They put cow tumors in uh, uh, innocent foods. They put preservatives in salami. I was reading the thing about a packaged potato chip. They're so bad for you. Uh, anyways, that's how they get to be politicians. It takes money, yeah. money, money. Now, do you know that the... Uh, the substance that is uh, very toxic and carcinogenic, known as trans fats, other, uh, aka uh, hydrogenated oil. That is what margarine used to be, and non-dairy coffee creamers. Uh, it's sub it is subject to becoming rancid very quickly and easily, and it, and it is carcinogenic, and it is responsible for much of the disease uh, that uh, was, um, that of course the, the American healthcare industry and hospitals just love because it was a revolving door of nonstop profit. Mm -hmm. Causes heart, heart disease and cancer, to cut to the chase, heart disease and cancer. Now, uh, they- oh, I digress. Yeah, well, of course, they they, uh, they gradually uh, have eliminated it, not entirely, but mostly. Um, this substance, hydrogenated oil, actually prolongs the shelf life of, let's say, baked goods in a supermarket. It prolongs the shelf life, which means an increase in profit by the toxic um, uh, American food industry. Uh, it's kind of like, why does the European and Asian version of Ovaltine contain no added sugar and, and, and have a malted malt, barley malt, malt extract as its first ingredient, vitamins and minerals, milk, whey protein, cocoa powder, it, there's no added sugar, but the American version of Ovaltine has sugar at the top of its ingredient. Ah, oh. ah do they want Americans to be 
uh, uh, to be uh, addicted to refined carbohydrates and sugar, perhaps? And some um, more diabetes medication. There you go. Keep that keep that revolving door going with the healthcare industry and the hospitals. You know how many you know how many ambulances I see roaring by every time I leave the house headed for Hackensack University Medical Center? I'm telling you, like not every day there's an ambulance roaring by. And uh it's racketeering. Let's just call it what it is, racketeering. Mm -hmm. Uh, getting back to the uh, feminist neoliberal politician named Lisa, I'm sorry she had, I don't want to mention her last name, but I'm sorry she has my sister's first name. I, um, I have a tendency to uh, use words that are harsh but very accurate. I like to use the term like corporate whore. Now, do, the famous Dr. Gary Knoll that is on the radio and has been around for a long time, he knows me. Uh, I had a big falling out with him because I said that Oprah Winfrey, who originally was against genetically modified foods, all of a sudden started saying that genetically modified foods put out by Monsanto was okay. All of a sudden, she had a change of heart. She had a change of heart. And before it was pro-organic and pro-non-GMO. Now she's for it. So I called her a corporate whore. So Dr. Gary Nell scolded me and he just didn't want me to use such words on his social media thread, on his, yeah, pro on his profile. He didn't like that. So he says, raise the bar, James. You can do better than that. Use better words. Why should I sugarcoat? Now, honestly, the same thing happened with Lisa, uh, 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 the politician uh, in New Jersey. Why should I sugarcoat? And, and I'm addressing Dr. Gary No and Lisa, uh, uh, Lisa no, McCormick. I'll just, I'll just say it, Lisa McCormick, all right? I'm pissed, at, I'm pissed off at her. I did a show with her one time live on my, uh, on my uh, progressive discussions program. Yeah, why should I sugarcoat when an adult with high education, Jeff Sambello, an adult that went to college or they might have a law degree, they are not children, they are not teenagers, they're adults that are supposed to know better. They're, they're adults of higher education. They know right from wrong. No, but no one can tell me that they don't have choices and they don't have the option of choosing the right decision versus the wrong, underhanded, corrupt decision. Why should I be nice and use gentle words in referring to what they really are? You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's the same thing with uh, these uh, circular training steel mace seminar people who are charging lots of money to learn very little. Uh, which includes no history of circular training at all. Why should I be gentle and, 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 and watch what I say and walk on eggshells with people that are adults with education that are supposed to know better? They don't deserve that. Look, respect is earned. Jeff Sambello, you know that. Respect is supposed to be earned. You're not entitled to respect. And that's what I told Lisa. Lisa McCormick sends me a private email saying, I don't want you talking like that. I don't want you, um, uh, um, she didn't say ranting. She said, um, uh, a tirade. I don't want your tirades on my personal thread. I says, well, you know what? If you call them tirades, that's fine, but I'll take, I'll take them elsewhere because I got followers joining my Twitter, Progressive Discussions Twitter page. Every day I have new followers. It's growing by leaps and bounds. So I must be doing something right. Right, it's called the truth. It's called, yeah, They a lot of people really dig my, my uh, even though they might be harsh, my true 
posts and uploads. That I'm doing something right, Jeff Sambell. Otherwise, people wouldn't be joining my Twitter page. But she's one of those uh, hipster, you know, uh, neoliberals like Barney did. Nice and, and organize it, put the cat there, and you, you know, you put the, the, the little tea, tea cups in this section of the table, and you put the fork oh, and knife. Like, like, like Barney the Dinosaur, I yeah. love, I love you, and you love me. Da, 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 da. Your you see, the the hipster neoliberal is so desperate to never, they never want to offend anyone. They're, they're walking on eggshells. They refuse to, to, they refuse to utter any discouraging word because they do not want to offend anyone. S same as the, ne the neocons, the neoconservatives. Become a leader that we want to elect? Yeah, these are these are people that walk on eggshells. Heaven forbid, someone should not like them. Oh, they don't love me. They don't accept me. Oh, I'm, I'm going to have a nervous breakdown. Oh, so what if somebody doesn't agree with Silvio. you? That's the guy's name, Silvio, the, the super, the superintendent from from Seinfeld. Yeah, Silvio. Yeah. Oh, Jerry, oh, you're so pretty. <laughs> oh, worship me, love me, please accept me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, and this is what the hipster neoliberal is so desperate. Oh, they must not offend anyone. This is why they, they hold back and sugarcoat and they don't tell the real truth of what's going on. And, uh, and, de and there are many Democrats like that, that are running in 2020, and I call them pandering establishment centrists. They like to use the word centrist now. Mm. So you're centrist means you're a, you're a corporate suck up, basically. You know, you know, come clean. You're a centrist means you're a moderate. You're 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 the middle of the road, riding the the fence. So which means, oh, I don't I don't want I don't want to offend anyone. I want everybody to love me. The little guy, the rich guy, the corporate, the corporate CEO. Please, everyone, love me. Ooh, you know, it's like, oh, uh, so so she, you know, we had our first argument, and you know, she don't want me my tirade. Oh, gee, when you when you tell the truth, Jeff Sambello, and you hit a raw nerve with people, they say you're you're ranting. Oh, uh, you're, you're going on a tirade, you're ranting, you're, you're, oh, like Gary Null told me, Dr. Gary Null told me, ne what do he say, toxic ne negativity, James, you're promoting toxic ne negativity. Oh, toxic. Oh, how come it's okay for you to, to go on a tirade on your radio show, Dr. Gary Null? It's okay for you to rant and rave on your radio show. show. But when James P. Madonna does it, in in text, oh, it's toxic negativity, Dr. Gary No and Lisa McCormick. Talk talk about hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, Jeff Zambello, you may not be able to see it, but you will see it uh, when you watch the show. I have a brand new mug with beautiful, large Palavani. Mm. Persian Palavani Zirkine Paisley symbols on it. You're going to love this new mug. And guess what I paid for it? One dollar at the Dollar Tree. Just well, like on the Cuban Zirconia. Look at this. Now, I want you to take, I'm so proud of this Palavani, the Persian uh, Palavani uh, freaking uh, mug of mine. Look at this. Kashi Azad, if you watch this video, look, look at that Paisley. This is my official International Brotherhood of Palavan mug that I will use. This is my my new beverage vessel for the live shows that that I will be doing. Well, that we have been doing and do in the future. Look at that. Look at that Paisley. Let let that Paisley power soak in. You jabronis out there. And where the hell are you jabronis that should be joining this weekly show, you pussies, you're, you're spineless, 
Gabadon, uh, uh, no, that's an eel in Italian, uh, Gabadoni, uh, a jellyfish. At least a Gabadon has a, has a spine, has a backbone. Guess what I have inside this? Oh, Paul, Paul Taris Walkowinski wouldn't like this because it contains a, a wee bit of alcohol. I oh, have wow. I have South Jersey blueberry. Oh, wine. I have blueberry wine, Jeff Sambello, in this Palavani. Southern New Jersey. South Jer Jer Southern New Jersey grows a lot of blueberries, and so does Northern New England. They grow wild blueberries up up yonder. Mmm. <laughs> it Very tastes. Good it tastes so damn good, and you know what? Because wow. it's fermented, I think the blueberries in this wine, this mm. is like a blueberry extract, a tincture, a tincture. This, because it's fermented, mm. this probably has magnified antioxidant power. And uh, I think the, the, the winery is called Valenzano. It's owned by an Italian uh, family, mm. Valenzano Winery. Um, and I think it, I believe it is in South Jersey because that's where the there's cranberry bogs. I think down there too, near mm -hmm. near near the Jersey Shore. But the blueberry plantations are down uh, towards the uh, I think the Pine Barrens, where the Jersey, the infamous Jersey Devil is from. Mm. Uh, but you're gonna when you see this mug, you're gonna say, "Damn, James," you know. That was that's a great idea. You know, I was walking out out the door of the Dollar Tree when these mugs caught the corner of my eye, and I go, "Whoa! I gotta go back and buy one of these." I I I went back into the store, and I got them. Palavani Paisley coming at you, jabronis! Look at that, Ken Thiessen, Where are you? Where are you, old Ken Thiessen? Uh, hold on, I gotta ring the uh, Ed Norton bell. Oh, Thelma, please enter the dining room. With my coffee, I would like two lumps. You keep on ringing that bell and you'll get two lumps. Yes. So that takes care of the uh, pandering neoliberals and the phony feminists. Oh, a phony feminist is a woman who wants equal pay for equal job, which is fine if she can do the job, uh, according to the job description. And then when it comes to social, socially, in the social world, as far as dating and relationships, she wants the man to pay for everything, pay for everything and do everything when it comes to social relationships. Well, guess what, phony feminist? You, equality is supposed to be across the board, or should I say across the broad? <laughs> Hold on for a second. Uh, that was pretty funny. Yeah, uh, equality is supposed to be across the board, feminists. You cannot have your cake and eat it in this life. And uh, that's the phony feminist. Now, the part about the censorship of truth seekers and tellers and exposing the lying scum. My, like my grandfather used to say in Italian, scuma, scuma. There are lots of people bearing false witness against thy neighbor, Jeff Zambella. Mm-hmm. They're out there. It could be the jewel, the fine jewelry industry. It could be, it could be anything. Furniture stores, car dealers, politicians, uh, uh, fitness industry people that like to give seminars, seminars. That, I like that story about that diamond trader um, who died in Belgium. Oh, yeah, yeah. T say something about that. Yeah, there's a, a true story. It was in Fox News. Um, uh, a diamond trader, um, he was in Israeli and Belgian dual citizens. They call it dual national. Um, he had a penis enlargement procedure. 
And during that procedure, he died of a heart attack. And um, anyway, this fellow, he owed $5.2 billion, not billion, billion dollars to Belgian tax authorities for tax evasion. Okay. So how much profit, if that's just one man that has to, uh, owes just in taxes, this is after profit taxes, right? Yeah. Five, two billion dollars? One man. So how about all these other people in the diamond industry? There's a lot of hands that those diamonds touch on their way to the uh, the, the mall uh, display case. So really, this little little rock is four thousand, five thousand dollars. It's making these crooks rich. It's just what an evil world. You get somebody that you get the pink slime. It's just, it's just a corruption. I'm, I'm unbelievable. Yeah, you have you have a, um, especially near near pagan Christmas because Jesus wasn't really born in December. By the way, you you idiots out there, um, <laughs> you have you have these uh, many car dealer commercials where they have the instead of having a disclaimer in microscopic letters, which sometimes they do that too. They talk like an auctioneer real fast. How many are you at the end of the commercial? Well, that's a disclaimer. Uh, Oy vey, the disclaimer at the end of the commercial. Yes. And uh, now, of course, when you, uh, if you have um, Facebook Messenger uh, uploaded on your smartphone, guess what? There are now Mark Zuckerberg uh, forces you to look at spamming advertisement on your personal private information and he spies yes he spies on your private conversations i received the warning a, a community standards warning hmm. on a private conversation i had with someone so, how come all these corporate crooks that owe big taxes they don't uh, abide or comply with community standards but the little guy you know, get the fish hook through his nose. Yeah, it's called double, it's a double standard, just like with the phony feminist. It's a double standard. And and it's like, you know, it's like the, it's like the priest, uh, Catholic priest or bishop saying, you know, don't do as um, I do, do as I say. Mm. You know, it's like, or the, or the uh, ev TV evangelist, you know, uh, they, uh, for years, they used to use the word tithing as an excuse for you to give the money to them, thinking that you're planting a seed, you know, with the Lord. You're planting a seed and you're going to reap the harvest when in reality is you're being duped out of your money. You know, you're being, you're being hoodwinked. You're being uh, winky dink like Mr. Haney on Green Acres used to say. You know, winky. Oh, you mean like, you mean like, oh, pick me up at Liberty New York Airport. <laughs> yeah, the oh, the thinly mustache. Oh, I got to put his image under this. His image will go under this video with the the one with the top hat, the black top hat. The thinly mustachioed man who suckered a hero, a worshiper, uh, a groupie, a male groupie. After driving five hours from Manassas, Virginia, the poor soul, picking yeah, him up. Not up like that, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, picking him up, picking him up at the hell hole, the snake pit known as Newark Liberty Airport arrival section. Shame on you, shame, shame, shame on you, thinly mustachioed, long stream of urine analysis from Southern California mm. who has a little little peach fuzz a toothless irish leprechaun signing your certificate in the lower left hand corner 
shame on you. Oh, oh, oh Erin, Erin go braless. I mean, I'm sorry, Erin go bra. Like that one. Erin go braless. Yeah, yeah, you, you could. Uh, wow. I bet you're picturing some uh, redhead with big ju uh, jugs, some uh, big. Uh, uh, I think I need the bells. I did, I did those red, the red bell there. Yes. Here, uh, Erin go braless to all Irish. Americans and Irish people throughout the world because March is the month of St. Patrick's Day, March 17th. And here's to all you can eat, corned beef, brisket, and cabbage. Uh, hold the boiled potato because I want to eat. I want to eat more succulent corned beef or brisket and cabbage. So I, I don't really eat the boiled potatoes. Oh, hey, the bell matches my back. The, the, the full, 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 I went to all these. Yeah, the other ones did. You know, like the happy hour of free food. So. Yeah, and the green bagel from the green beer. Right. Except uh, I like a Guinness stout. So anyway. Uh, excuse me. So, hey, if Howard Stern can burp, so can I. That's so, right. So. That's our theme of speech. Right. Hey, alpha male, alpha males, alpha males sitting in a gym, a gymnasium locker room. They fart and they and they burp. So I don't want to hear no uh, hoity-toity uh, comments. Yeah. So um, what was I saying? Uh, I lost my train of thought. Um, uh, uh, wait a minute. What the hell was I talking about? Guinness, Guinness Ale. Yeah, you know, before, oh, oh, corned beef and cat. Last year, I went to Aldi, and uh, you have to bring your own bag, but I do. Yeah. Some fools buy their bags, but I, I bring a, a very strong nylon laundry bag from the dollar zone. So I went there and I, I purchased a very large con beef brisket and a head of cabbage. And I, uh, I made my own. And let me tell you, for the second year in a row, I ate corn beef and cabbage till I busted just about. And I had I said, you want to be cheap, all you restaurants and bars out there that stop all you can eat? corned beef and, and crappage well let me tell you something i beat the system because i made tons of it and i and i did it at a low price because the educated consumer is the best customer uh, that's from a commercial of a company that I went belly up called Cy sims uh I that. men's clothing ah oh, you mean Cy was all the way up in boston uh, oh, that rascal. You know, I bought a sports jacket from Cy si si Sims and they didn't even, they didn't even give me the oh, hang. Yeah. They didn't give me the hang. They won't give me a hanger. They rolled it up in a ball and they shoved it in a bag. Oh, Jesus. Please. Oh, how cheap. Oy vey, how cheap can you be? You're giving somebody a discount on a sports jacket and you won't even give them a, a, a simple hanger to hang a sports jacket on. Not that I need any, you know, I, I got plenty of good hangers, you know, but, uh, yeah, what well, cheap bastards. Oh, li 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 leave it up to Cy Sims, if you get my drift, to be uh, penny wise and pound foolish and not give the customers a hanger. I think his son or his two sons were in the commercials with him. His, his chubby daughter, I think her name was Marcy Sims, did commercials. Yeah, you're right. Marcy looked like she swallowed a lot of semen. She was very, she was kind of portly. Extend her hand to her husband for the credit card. Right, that, that is sex for Marcy Sims, uh, ha uh, taking possession of her husband's credit cards. Yeah. But yes. meanwhile, the husband has a shiksa on the side, you know, but... You think... You think the Danish Dina Engard uh, 
uh, Engard. Uh, no, I don't think she's Jew. I don't think she's Jewish. I think she's a, uh, she's just a Danish girl who married a uh, well-to-do uh, Danish man that uh, where she never shows his photos and never speaks of him. She simply just uh, goes to all the seminars and goes to health spas on his dime, of course, on his dime. Uh, you know, uh, oh, for you jabronis that don't know, Jeff Sambello possesses two master's degrees in finance, accounting, and all the above. So he knows what he's talking about. He can audit your ass at any given time. You hear that mustachioed man with the uh, community property? Yeah. Hope, I hope the ho hockey... Uh, yesterday, the downturn about karma. Oh, yeah, karma. Yeah, like to pay his taxes, but that uh, in the last room, but he didn't go his way. Mm -hmm. he, he's not coming down for breakfast. No, no, he's not coming down for continental breakfast, which is a funny, it's a fancy word for a freaking muffin and coffee. Yeah, but I'm, I'm very happy that I hope the hockey puck slips by the goalie. <laughs> In, I wonder if they ate supper at 930. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, you like that, that, that Crow's Nest video talking about BJ Steakhouse? That was oh, great. I love it. Ah, BJ yeah. Steakhouse. Uh, poor Jeff Sambella was starving after he took his shower, starving all night, waiting for the jabroni to contact him for dinner. And yeah. then, yes, and then he ended up after 10 p.m. going to some shit ass uh, franchise steakhouse, eating crap. 20 minute wait, that'll be 20 minute wait. 20 minute wait, what are they, serving gold? And you're not supposed to get upset over all that, right? No. I I had I was told oh no I wasn't told it was written behind my back that I had a bad attitude. Well, yeah, it was like ninety degrees. <laughs> hey, hey, get away from that oasis, that watering hole. Hey, camels, hey camels, don't you can't rehydrate. Clear out the gym. I have yeah. to talk business with Daniel Ramsey. Speaking of a watering hole. There's a watering hole in Austin, Texas that didn't have Wi-Fi. A big oh, franchise oh. outlet. Oh yes, the Salt Lake in Austin, Texas, the the landmark known as the Salt Lake that I see on the Travel Channel all the time has no Wi-Fi. So so uh, so There's the no technology in the Austin, Texas. So the thinly mustachioed tall man who kept calling yours truly, James P. Madonna, saying, I want to go live with you. When I, oh, when I get to Austin, Texas, after the seminar, me and, and diddly diddly do, Dickie Doyle, we are going to the Salt Lake, and I want to go live from the Salt Lake. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you, can, you we're going to get the barbecue and the flames shooting up on, on live YouTube video, and he's pumping me up. And then the day finally comes, and it's a good thing I had, I was going to a Halloween party that night. It was a Saturday, and I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. And, and Mr. Mace Man never contacts me, never contacts me. And you know some, He has a Gmail account, and I could have, with the click, with the snap of a finger, I could have had him live, him and the Salt Lake live, on YouTube, but guess what? It was all planned out to, to make people like you and I look like fools, like a joke, but guess what? The joke's on him because we will never stop. We will never stop until the second coming of Christ. We will never stop. We will be woodpeckers pecking at your skull for as long as you live and you will never forget when you disrespected the, the Sicilianos. You and there were... are phone booths on the mass turnpike uh, where those, uh, the gas stations are on the mass turnpike. Yeah. Where the Dunkin' Donuts uh, 
shops with with the uh, McDonald's or the Burger King and the Papa Gino's, you know, the, the pink shops. There's pay telephones right in those places. Now I got I got oh yes the pay phone ring ring hold on ring Internal Revenue Service is that you diddly 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 do is that you Internal Revenue I have news for you ah yes hey how come a humble local Dunkin Donuts in Hasbro Kites and Lodi, New Jersey. How come their Wi-Fi is really fast? Yeah. But but a landmark that's on television once in a while on the Travel Channel is out in the middle of nowhere without Wi-Fi. Ah, uh, Austin, Texas, the capital of Texas. So in other words, if the delivery truck with all the meat gets uh, lost, how are they supposed to? Uh, do GPS or, uh, or anything there. Yeah, exactly. They, do they think they're dealing with, with neophytes? Do they uh, think they're dealing with idiots here? We're, we're way ahead of him. He, he has no idea how far ahead of him and, 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 the, uh, and Kelly Manzone and, and, and all of them, all of them. Paul Gray, who suddenly allowed uh mr maceman to shove that loop that, going on. that lubri the unfixable bridge <laughs> yeah they lubricated uh, the the ky jelly saturated olive branch that was not only not only pushed up his his anus his rectum but twisted around and around and around and then the wooden trojan horse <laughs> uh zay ricardo the <laughs> The Jack, the Jacks, the Jack B, the Jack Joke, Joke Shop Award winning Zay Ricardo, Portuguese man that lives in Ireland with an Irish girlfriend because she, we're going to, we, because we are going to change the format of the Polygon page. Yeah, he was demanding, he was demanding that we change the whole format. How could he change? He's not even a moderator. He's not. He's not a moderator. He's not an administrator. He's nothing. He's a nothing. He's a. He's a. He's oh, just. A, he's a pathy for a certain He's a P on P P E E P on uh, a Portuguese guy that loves to play chess that happens to be living in Ireland because I guess the job market in Portugal is crap unless you're a fisherman and, and you catch sardines for the barbecue but other than that there's no other he's in ireland which is a poor country anyway um uh, he's dating an irish girl and he sends me photos of him embracing his irish girlfriend like i you know like i give a shit you know and uh, uh first he's first he's against helder gangrene i mean gandra uh, it, it, with his chicanery, and then, and then he wants to speak nothing but positive words about everybody. He becomes a Pollyanna, and he says, especially Rick Brown. I want you to speak exceptionally nice about Rick Brown. He tells me, uh -huh. ah, oh, Trojan horse. Yes. Well, guess what? The truth tellers, the truth seekers and tellers will never change their format. You see, uh, the, the, the little slogan that was posted yesterday the Polygon page. Um, yes. Those who seek happiness make other people happy with their money. Yes. Uh, uh, it is a known fact that you have to be happy within yourself. Uh, do not, you cannot, you'll never seek happiness by relying on other people. You have to find ha happiness, happiness, uh, if you have the right woman, happiness within yourself. Uh, and you know, uh, if you, if you're a sucker, if you're too much of a, of a sycophant and Pollyanna and you and you 
you go around making everyone else happy, then you will neglect yourself and uh, thus make them wealthier. Yes. Right. So if you pay for all these big seminars and the, the travel and you buy all the tools and everything else, you have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars only to get credit card debt. Now just think about, let's take a seminar for instance. Let's pick one out of a hat. Like, let's take New Breed Fitness in Lodi, New Jersey, and Gar Garibaldi Avenue. Okay, we're pulling it out. We're, we're going back into memory. Uh, we're taking a ride on memory lane, and we're going back in time. Back in time to 90 degrees plus with humidity and no central air conditioning. Uh, oh, by the way, Gold's Gym and Powerhouse Gym have central air conditioning. <laughs> mm. All right. Uh, you, you, these poor souls have traveled very far. I can think of one. Jeff Sambello drove 16 hours from New Brunswick, uh, Canada. Yeah, actually, it was only 15 hours. <laughs> All right. So we'll, we'll, we'll round it off to 15 hours. All right. The other poor soul who's dedicated... Uh, Unfortunately, he's preoccupied with lifting, swinging very heavy uh, mace. So he's got, you know, he needed some orthopedic surgery. But, you know, that's his choice. Young man from uh, Manassas, Virginia. He drove five hours. Got suckered into picking up Mr. Mace Man. So Mr. Mace Man can pocket, and I'm making a gesture with my hand, pocket the allowance that the gym owner the gym owners, yeah, yeah, you got gym owner up in Dover, New Hampshire, you got Dan, Daniel Ramsey in Lower Rhine, New Jersey, pocketing the allowance by getting hero-worshipping groupies to drive him around and be there, be his chauffeur, because heaven forbid he should spend money on an on a Uber, but, but he had to, he had to, when he went home at 4 a.m., because... <laughs> He went, where? Where did he go? You just said, where did he go? Before? Well, he claims he went home to his wifey. Okay. <laughs> he claims that. Uh, uh, was it really the wifey? Uh, 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 or was it perhaps, uh, oh, oh, wait a minute. I know who we can talk to about that. We can talk to the, 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 the copper divining rods. Oh, copper divining rods. I know Jeff loves them. Copper divining rods. Oh, I made a pen. I got a new pendulum with a with a tail. Oh, an ancient copper divining rod. Oh, ancient. Next they time, all, they only tell the truth. Yes. Next time, I will. Next time, the the new Middle Eastern and Indian talisman pendulum will make its debut on the next show. But right That's now, as copper divining rods will take a vacation, a much needed vacation. Copper divining rods. Um, when uh, Mr. Mace Man frantically uh, insisted that he much he must leave and catch a four or four four thirty a.m. flight at Newark Liberty International Airport, uh, and said he had to go home. Did he really go home? Oh my goodness! It's a big no. Oh, you, 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 Clark Gable, mustachio rascal, you. So he, so did he go somewhere where uh, he uh, might have uh, taught uh, hands-on Kama Sutra? Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh. Did he uh, use uh, Jeff Zambello and myself as an alibi that day when he said he had to go home at 4 a.m.? Oh, yeah. Uh, I was spending the day in New York City with a CEO of Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island. And yes. The Times Square. We're going to go see a Broadway show. The Copper Divine, the Copper Divining Rod said. Yeah. We were alibis, Copper Divining Rod said. So. Did he partake in, uh, I hate to be coarse, I hate to sound like a bully, Divining Rods, but did he partake in a little 
uh, a copulation uh, with uh, somebody other than his wife? A big, a big yes, Jeff Zambello. A big fat yes. Ah, so did did, ah, ooh, did ah, does ooh. he does he acquire does Mister Mace Man acquire his mistresses? Uh, uh, at the Mexican joints where he gets his burrito, his burrito for dinner on the drive through and speaking Spanish with him. Oh, yes, I'm a big shot. I can just picture him now. I'm a, I'm the famous, I'm the famous Mr. Mace Man. I travel, I travel internationally. I travel i travel all over the world i travel i use two seminars i'm a superstar in the fitness industry i am mr mace man and then this the, the don't make fun of a person rogue and then the young supple succulent uh uh brown-skinned mexican girl with the with the long hard nipples says oh oh i would love to go out with you I would love to go out with you, Mr. Mace Man. <laughs> is this what happens? Is this what happens to Vod Copper Divining Rods? Is he procuring the Latina uh, young? Hey, all I wanted was a big uh, 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 ice cold bottle of spring water. Yes, it Please. says. It says yeah. yes. He he went to a mistress. He did not go home at four a.m. from Lower Eye, New Jersey. Now, did did he have some pair of hairy brass balls to tell everybody to clear out of the gym and and uh, put down uh, put down their ice cold spring water so he could supposedly discuss business? Did he have some hell of a nerve? Was he rude doing that? Yes, he was very rude. Was Zay Ricardo his spy and wooden Trojan horse? Big yes. Oh, was that a quickie? That was a quick yes. So Zay Ricardo, who's not not to be confused with Ricky Ricardo from I Love Lucy, was Zay Ricardo just a a hero worshiping spineless jellyfish groupie of Mr. Mace Man? Yes. Oh. Uh, you are a pussy. And you, and you, I was very correct in, in, in induct. Was I very correct, Copper Divining Rods, when I inducted Zay Ricardo in, into the Jack's Joke Shop award winning organization? Or, or uh, yes, or uh, um, sorority? Like a like a like a girl's sorority in college. So is he is he basically a bitch with with testicles and a penis? Yes, the copper divining rods say he is a bitch. Ah, oh, we're so far ahead of all of you, Jeff Zambello and I, and the International Brotherhood of Polyvans. Um, but the copper divining rods was it karma? Was it was it a, 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 a fate that I stumbled upon these beautiful, this beautiful paisley Persian paisley coffee mug to use for the show? Was it was there divine intervention? Yes, there was divine intervention. Yes, hey, thank you. You're happy when you spend money on yourself. The most important is not spending money to make other people. Happy. Well, you know, you know, you know what? People laugh. I had a great time when I visited you in New Jersey when I spent two dollars on a cup of coffee and we sat there for three or four hours every time we went to Dunkin' Donuts for two dollars. Right. And we had a conversation with, with, with those retired bikers. Yeah, oh yeah, I remember that. And, and 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 the fine gentleman that uh, uh, passed a pen through someone's ear at one time. We had a nice conversation. I love that. Yeah. Yes. Nod, nod, wink, wink. Nod, nod. Three, three. Nod, nod, wink, wink. There's a lot of people we would like to pass a pen 
through their yeah. ear, believe me, and, and pass through the cartilage of their ear. Yeah. Well, yeah, but aren't you afraid of like the cops? He says it's not a crime if nobody sees it. Hey, that's what Jesse Ventura used to say in pro wrestling. It, uh, he <laughs> says if the referee doesn't see it, it was it's not cheating. Mm. It never happened. That's what he said. If the referee doesn't see it, it never happened. <laughs> Which I think is kind of funny. Uh, but anyway. So, so these politicians, what are they going to do about like, the public transportation uh, improvements in New Jersey, in Northeast New Jersey? Yes. Yeah, so, yes. Our congressman of Bergen County, uh, who is actually Bill Pascrell, Italian man, is is our primary congressman and he, he's a hard-working congressman at that but this uh uh josh gottheimer gottheimer okay a a hawk nose without the hawk nose of bergen county had a, a town hall meeting that he always invites me to but i i blow him off because when i attended his telephone town hall meeting I had a question about the dinosaur outdated public transportation system in New Jersey and throughout the entire United States of America. And he totally tried to change the subject and cut me off and said, James, do you have any other questions? I said, no, I would like to talk about the outdated dinosaur public transportation system in the United States. Amtrak is a joke, I repeat. Amtrak is a joke. And also, New Jersey transit trains are another joke. They're ancient. They, 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 they shake when they, when, they, when they pick up speed. They don't even pick up high speed. They're a joke. Mainland China has the bullet train where you can put a glass of wine on your table and it doesn't even move. All right, light rails, clean subways, clean. No, no uh, uh, mental case uh, homeless people and crackheads uh, like New York City subway. No, no filth. No graffiti. Clean. Try doing that in Singapore. They'll throw your ass in prison. You, if you throw a cigarette butt on a sidewalk, they'll arrest you because they enforce the law. Mm -hmm. All right. We're talking about yeah. civilized yeah, but, society. But in, in the, the U.S., they don't really, the politicians don't uh, make the local officials enforce the law. Because they don't want yeah. to offend, they don't want to offend certain lobbying groups. But they, with the corruption that goes on with zoning, and they take these single family homes, and then they say, oh, um, you can't do that. There's no parking uh, for a for full family uh, unit uh, to, to rezone. Uh, oh, thank you for the grease. I didn't see that. You can put that um, on the table over there, but I didn't see you put a white yeah. envelope, green cash. And say, oh, oh, now there's plenty of parking on the street. Yeah. Uh, and well, that's they never, why infrastructure has to be improved. Well, they never, they never went after a congressman from Harlem, Charlie Rangel, with the pearly, mm. the African American with the pearly white teeth, when he was stealing taxpayers' money at one time to build his mansion in the Dominican Republic. Nobody went after him. Nobody. When David Dinkins, uh, may, uh, uh, uh Many years ago, mayor of New York City, uh, African-American David Dinkins said, oh, no, I, he didn't want to go after the aggressive panhandlers and squeegee people because he, he didn't want to hassle the brothers. He did not want to hassle the brothers, the brothers. Um, so what I'm trying to say is, the neoliberals, the the feminists, they have they seem to have a double standard of life. You know, uh, you know, as long as if it applies, uh, they could go on tirades and rant and rave, but heaven forbid, 
you should confront them with anything. Then they play the gender card. Oh, you're a misogynist, or you're a homo. Your mouth, the woman that work here. You're a homophobe. You're a uh, racist. You're a racist. You're a what's the other word? Uh, a xenophobe. You're a. Um, yeah. Watch, watch your mouth, woman work here. Oh yeah, the the the, the big titted uh, the big on the bottom of his sneakers. The big titted Hebrew uh, Mr. Cohen, or uh, trying to tell Liar. us trying to tell us what to do in Dunkin' Donuts as he's taking up two or three uh, sofa chairs with his sweatpants and his big tits sticking out his nipples with his big blubbery fat breasts, telling us. Watch your mouth. There's women working here. Hey, I thought he was. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it, your dog poop. Uh, bathroom thing is off the couch, off the leather couch, and then we'll talk to you. I thought he was a manager or security or or one yeah, of the owners. The, the, the owner's son. Yeah, but meanwhile, the girl laughed and says, "Oh, he's just a customer." She goes, "Oh, you mean the guy that, that wears a baggy sweatpants?" I really in the basketball shoes. I said, "Yeah, oh, he comes in there every day." Like, oh my gosh! No, he's just a customer. What right did he have? We weren't even talking to him. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Now, but if you say something to him, we're the ones who get arrested. In the olden days, like the, the 1970s and 80s, you could say things to other guys, and then you know you had a little bit of an argument, but then it was over. Listen, and everybody shook hands afterwards. Do you know well, you have they, just you they, have just you just reminded me. They were then we were good. You just reminded me of of an incident that happened years ago, years ago when I had a temporary assignment at the Meadowlands hub of United Parcel Service, UPS, in Secaucus, New Jersey. It was a, it's a big hub. Oh. And I was working two shifts. I was working the day shift and the, and the, and the late shift till 2 a.m. I don't know how I did it. I, yes, I was very sleep deprived. I had an incident where the shop steward was telling me, he was uh, told in a meeting that if someone perceives something that you say, if it's, a, if it's based on a, on a perception, if they perceive that they are threatened in some way or offended or uh, 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 they feel you're hostile based on not reality but perception, mm. they can file a complaint. I says, yeah, but per perception is not proven reality he says yeah but right. yeah but now nowadays perception is taken seriously i says how can you take something seriously that's not proven so anybody can per perceive uh, anything that's not proven and uh, and and they could give you problems based on a perception perception as far as i'm concerned is not reality because it you know unless it's proven it's like it's like the bullshit with sexual harassment with where I'm sure the feminists had a big part in this. You know, it's it's sexual harass sexual harassment has to be investigated. You know, you can't just like willy nilly, you know, her word against his word and accuse a poor guy of sexual harassment and then fire him. You know, human resources calls him down to the department and he loses his job based on a perception. Meanwhile, maybe the poor soul just complimented the woman on her outfit and, and say, that's a very pretty dress. Maybe he just asked her out. Maybe he asked her out to lunch or coffee or dinner. Yeah, very innocent. That's how people uh, start relationships. Well, it's like when you go to a club. And um, right. it's like, um, or, or to a church function. And um, oh hi, how are you doing? Do you want to dance? Uh, oh, I have a boyfriend. Um, well, it, this is like a single bar, and you're with your other girlfriends. But did you all 
first stop. Right. And, and certain and body parts are um, uh, falling out of your top. Um, uh, Where's your boyfriend? How come your boyfriend is not boyfriend. with you? How come your boy? Why are you dressed like that? Right. Without your boyfriend around. Because they're lying. They're well, lying. I don't like your boyfriend if uh, your breasts are, are falling out of your, your tight dress. I'm sure your boyfriend, your boyfriend wouldn't appreciate that. The boyfriend would have been with her that evening in the That's night right. in the nightclub. He would have been with her if she truly had a boyfriend. Now, because right. because uh, women are no longer sugar and spice and everything nice, now they they ought they are often full of garbage and lice. Uh, 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 the feminists have uh, are responsible for separating straight heterosexual relationships. They're making everybody so angry. Everybody so angry. Yeah, they, they are responsible. I am convinced for breaking up relationships between straight heterosexual people i am i am convinced wholeheartedly that they are responsible for that and uh you know uh, with all this crap going on uh, uh, you know their, their, their perception and lying and 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 uh, you know they'll they'll look you know like a sociopath they'll look in a man's eye and lie i mean that's what a sociopath does they can look you in the eye and wow. and lie like I've seen car dealers do it, but you know, uh, people. Know. Oh, like like when we had um, drinks with a certain someone for like a half an hour at the Hilton. Oh yeah! Oh, I finally. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little imitation. Oh, after all these years chatting on social media facebook i finally have met face to face james p madonna and i am i am doing a seminar in his hometown of lodi new jersey what are the chances of that happening <laughs> ah, a, oh wonderful that sounds nice but guess what he only that was the only quality time he spent with you and i and then he sends you a thing at nine o'clock or nine thirty, seven, and like, oh, you know, I gotta take care of my mother here. Like, I just ate. Like, um, yeah. oh yeah, I'm ready. No, he doesn't call me. He sends me a text. Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't say, "Greetings, James. Hello, oh, are you busy? Or nothing. Are you busy right now? Uh, I'm sorry. I I am sorry. I am late for 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 dinner." But I, I am uh, finally back at the Hilton Hotel, and I am ready to partake in in dinner. Would you like to join me? Uh, are you able to join me? Uh, excuse me. And Jeff Zambello and uh, the the man from Manassas, Virginia. Are you able to join me? No, he just say he blurts out a few words. I'm ready. No, two words. I'm ready. No, what the fuck am I supposed to jump? And leave my mother alone, a woman with dementia. I'm supposed to jump out of the house and run to your sorry ass because you you have you have thousands of hero worshiping groupies kissing your ass. I'm supposed to leave my mother and and run and have dinner at 10 p.m. Seriously, seriously. And well, and what about uh, sociopaths who look people in the eyes? Um, and what about the poor soul known as Jeff Zambella, whose stomach was growling for hours, growling, hungry, without without protein, without nutrients, without dinner in his body, and he's waiting, and he's waiting, and all of a he sudden... Is, the other guy's like, I don't live to eat, I eat to live. I says, well, he says, it's not about food. I said, what is it, what is it about uh, if we went to a nice place? Oh, it's about talking about how wonderful the seminar was. I'm like, ha, 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 ha. Oh, that sounds like a real exciting conversation. We're going to get our, we're going to fill our bellies. Oh, what's wonderful about the seminar? The stories, the... <laughs> the lack of spring water? The lack of spring water? Yeah, okay. So I mean, we filmed it. Like, what was the content of the whole thing? Like... Well, 
someone recently asked me to if I would video an event in the Patterson Historic Museum where they had a Lou Costello um, um, uh, a remodeling of the Lou Costello exhibit and also a Lou Costello event to honor him because he, he's from Patterson, New Jersey. I was born in Patterson, New Jersey. And uh, uh, boxer Bobby Chez, uh, uh, whatever, is going to be there as a guest speaker. And uh, 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 famous mu uh, magician Rocco Solano and this other guy and Ken Create, they're all going to be there. I was asked if I would uh, video it, but no one offered me any money. Now, they're selling tickets. They're selling tickets. That means people will be spending money on tickets. You mean to tell me I'm, I'm going to be another sucker again and I'm going to video an event without pay and you're going to be making money selling tickets at this event? Hey. Yeah, but if Pretty Blonde, uh, there was uh, video recording it. Um, you might get uh, a check. Yeah, I'll get I'll get I'll get a pair of flopping labia in my face probably. <laughs> ah, look who is joined, my dear darling, precious Daw. Daw has from Thailand has has joined us. Ah, Daw, my love, we have we have a big fan from Thailand. We're seen all over. We are seen all over because we are truth seekers and truth tellers and, and there's a gentleman who's going to be traveling 30 hours uh, do we want to discuss this uh, fine gentleman who's coming to north america um 30 hours somebody's coming going to travel 30 hours well it can't be you because you're you're, coach. you're 15 hours wait a minute Oh, yes, yes, Kashi Azad. Hey, Kashi, where are you? Kashi Azad is going to be traveling to the United States, quite possibly, maybe, for the first time, to Southern... Left in, in a month. To, yeah, a month. to Southern Connecticut. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Southern Connecticut. And there will be a certain a someone who will, will pick him up at uh, uh, John, uh, John F. Kennedy uh, International Airport and will be applying the stick shift method as he is driven from the airport to uh, what, what hotel do they usually uh, pa patronize? Is it a Hilton Hotel? Hilton Hotel in Southeastern Connecticut. And the, the stick shift method will be applied. I know I'm being a bully. I know I'm being a bully, Mr. Taras, but I'm sorry. Where's that little half? I want to hear the half. Oh, the juice are. Yeah. Little juice are. This is beautiful. You know, I play. I play. I play this Italian juice harp from Italy. Mikey, don't listen. It's I, Mikey. I, I never, I've had this from the early 1980s, Jeff Zambello, and I've never seen another one like it. It's imported from Italy, and I, I, when I do the craft beer show, there's a, a, a wonderful man named Jeremy from the state of Arkansas that plays the harmonica, and I do a duet with him at the end, and, and I, okay. It's on every video. Here you go.
Hey, brother. Here you go, Mikey. Elbows up, elbows down. Mikey, elbows up, elbows down, hands together. Your father, your father, absolutely, absolutely blows away all of those. All the Steel May seminar crooks out there. Your brother, uh, your brother, your father far surpasses all of them. And guess what? He he does. It's free because you're his his, his loving precious son. And even his clients are charged a very nominal fair price. And we keep our hands together. Yes, and I'm telling you, I just and want to talk. I want to talk about something positive, and that is. Ken Thiessen on the spot, because Ken Thiessen agrees with you and me. He says, you got to keep your hands together, because Ken Thiessen swings a 75 mile an hour fastball. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
This has been a Mega Life 21 production.